Hey guys, wanted to get a quick video here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been some time since I've made my last video, and I will say, with work and a seventh month uh, at home and just been doing a lot of things, trying to live life here a little bit, uh, it's been pretty busy. Um, so I'm excited to be able to get a quick video for you guys here. Um, wanna update you on uh, the car and um, and what I'm enjoying about it and as I continue to use it here, um, a couple things that I've noticed that are a little funny about it. Um, and then two, just wanted to um, use this opportunity to also thank uh, two of the individuals that have actually used my referral and have not only saved a thousand dollars but also got free supercharging on their new uh, tesla model s so to the schwartzbergs um really appreciate it um i obviously i know uh kevin who um who i was able to give a ride in the car and just kind of go over it and spoke to his parents and they ended up using my referral so that was great i think if you're going to try to utilize the referral program Getting people in the car, driving them around, showing them functionality, uh, getting them excited about the torque and all that stuff is uh, is always a good thing. Um, but also, uh, Ryan, uh, Letty or Leedy, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, um, you know, we've been corresponding a little bit uh, via email uh, based off of finding me on the channel and uh, he was interested in CPOs and ended up um, purchasing uh, a new Model S. So congratulations to the both of you guys and um, really happy that you were able to save $1,000 and also uh, get the free supercharging. So really great for you there. And just to let you guys know, I am actually able to benefit from the referral program as well. And the current setup is the first referral. I get a mini Model S Tesla that I ordered, of course, in white with the black rims for my daughter. And those are the battery powered ones that um, she is obviously being seven months old, won't be able to use yet, but she will be able to use eventually. So that's pretty cool. And once I get it, I will uh, do an unboxing for you guys so you can actually see that. Um, and then with Ryan's, um, I will actually get a token that I can use for uh, kind of being first in line or bump to the front uh, to have an option of getting a, a solar panel roof. So I might do some pricing on that. Check that out. If I end up not using it, it actually says I can give that to a friend. So, uh, so we'll see how that all plays out and I'll certainly make videos and update you guys. Uh, give you an update on where I'm at with the car. Right now I've got just shy of 45,000 miles on it. Um, I have been charging um, my car at my home with, uh, as you guys saw in one of my videos, did, I did have the home charger put in. Here I am um, at the supercharger today. Um, I still use the supercharger network. Uh, if I'm driving by it, I won't charge at home. I'll just do this. I mean, there's no reason paying for electricity at home when I've got the benefit of the supercharger. I will say, though, that I have noticed my electric bill going up. So my wife and I, we're fairly conservative on our electric bill. I think we averaged, you know, $62, 70 bucks, 80 bucks, or something like that. So we weren't really pulling a lot of juice to begin with. And since I've been charging uh, the car, and obviously being summer that we're using the AC a little bit more, um, I've had my electric bill go up to about $203. Now, considering I'm still not paying for gas, remember I was spending about $250 in gas a month, I'm still coming out ahead. So no worries there. And I don't charge it every day. I mean, ultimately, I know that's kind of the whole purpose is you can charge the car and you should charge a car. Um, that's certainly recommended. Uh, I don't just because... I don't really need to. If I've got enough miles on the car, I'll just drive those miles and then the next day I'll plug in. So um, one of the quirky things that I have noticed here uh, in the past month or so that kind of drives me just slightly crazy is you guys may know that um, Tesla gives you um, streaming. So right now I've got my Hall & Oates uh, radio station up. Um, so this is streaming. Um, and one thing that I did notice is it has trouble holding 
onto the station. So what you'll find is that it will, you know, you'll be streaming a song and then all of a sudden it will say loading error and it will have to try to kind of load that again. And um, I'm not sure if that's uh, ultimately because it's got a weak antenna in the car or just poor signal that it's uh, trying to receive. Um, I have to assume it's much like satellite radio and stuff, but although I find that in certain areas, I actually have more problems with it holding that streaming signal. And I'm not just talking about being in a populated area versus out in the burbs or out in the country. Um, it could really happen any place. Um, I could be next to a semi truck and I'll lose my signal. Um, uh, you know, I could be in the city and with all the buildings, I could lose my signal or I could be on the boonies and lose the signal. So that's that's probably the only quirky thing that um, that drives me a little crazy because I prefer to use streaming and not listen to the radio. So uh, but otherwise, the car is great. I love it. Um, you know, I really feel like the car is held up. I haven't had any other issues with it. I love driving it. Um, I I love showing this car off. And I would say that's another thing too, if you're considering a Tesla, um, be ready for the extra attention because people are gonna ask you questions. They wanna know about it. They wanna get inside of it. Most people really look at Tesla as a car that is unaffordable. And maybe now that the Model 3 has been launched and uh, cars have been delivered, people will take that into consideration a little bit more. But I really, really find that the CPOs are still a great viable option for somebody who doesn't wait, want to wait until the end of 18 to get a Model 3. A lot of the CPO prices on the um, Model S have come down dramatically. So um, I think they've been a you know, handful or so in the mid 40s. So pretty, pretty doable there. Uh, otherwise, hey guys, thanks so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that like button down below and certainly I always appreciate your comments. So um, have a great day and uh, we'll see you on the next video.